burning light! The only thing I'm not looking forward to this time is seeing Snape. Let's just hope he's left because he missed out on the defence against the Dark Arts job again. Or he might have been sacked. I mean, everyone hates him. Or maybe he's waiting to hear why you two didn't arrive on the Hogwarts Express. Professor Snape! We, uh, we were... In my search of the grounds, I noticed that considerable damage seems to have been done to a very valuable Whomping Willow. I will be speaking with Professor McGonagall later. That tree did more damage to us than we... Silence! I would advise you both to make your way immediately to the Gryffindor common room. But Professor Snape, we... Go, and count yourselves lucky. If I should catch either of you out after tonight, I will definitely deduct house points. Come on, Harry. I'll meet you outside the entrance hall. Brilliant. Get to your common room, Potter. If it isn't young Potter, how are you? Glad to be back at Hogwarts? Well, I would be, Nick, if Professor Snape hadn't caught me outside. Well, I suppose that rules are there for a reason, although sometimes the reason escapes me. Yes, you shouldn't be up this late, you know. Better get back to the Gryffindor common room before Professor Snape catches you again. Goodbye. Bye, Nick. Okay, let's go to the seventh floor. Harry? I can't get into the common room, Harry. She wants the password. 
Of course I want the password. How am I to know that you two aren't Slytherins disguised as Gryffindors? Because we don't look like gorillas, that's how. There you are. Someone said you'd been expelled for crashing a flying car into the Whomping Willow. Well, we haven't been expelled. Look, just tell us the new password, Hermione. Oh, very well then. It's Wattlebird. Wattlebird. Hey, Harry. Fred and George have set up a shop. You can trade all kinds of things with them for spells and really wicked stuff. Wow, I must go and see them. Where are they? Go through that door and through the reading room. There's a portrait on the other side. What's the password? Liberty Gibbet. Oh, and uh, watch out for Percy. He hates being disturbed when he's studying. I'll meet you in the common room later. Liberty Gibbet. Ah, Potter! You finally made it then. Heard about the Ford Anglia. Mum's gonna kill Ron when she finds out. I bet it was worth it to see Snape's face when you landed. Um, sort of. Anyway, welcome to our shop, Harry. Yes. Feel free to browse our extensive range of wizard wheezes and magical merchandise. Everything priced at reasonable rates and the only currency universally accepted throughout Hogwarts. 30 bots, every flavour beads. We're sure there's something here you'll like. How much is his stink pellet bag? How much is his Edgar Strulger card? Edgar Strulger, eh, Harry? <sighs> Inventor of the sneaker scope. What a genius. Get out, you're disturbing my studies. Come here, locomotor mortis. Okay, Harry, it's been a long day. I'm really tired and I'm off to bed.
morning, Ron. Do you know what class we've got first? I heard there's flying. You heard right. I'll meet you downstairs in the entrance hall. I still can't get over how you and Weasley arrived in that flying car. Classic. I still can't get over how you and Weasley arrived in that flying car. Classic. Thanks ever so much for finding my file case, Harry. Have a wizard card. Haven't you got flying first thing, Harry? Better get moving. I collect famous witches and wizards cards. Do you? I'll give you a card number 61, Havelock Sweeting, for a number 77, Norval Twonk. I don't have that card. Uh, a matter of no importance. It's just that some properly decapitated Podmore won't let me join the headless hunt. Apparently, they only accept huntsmen whose heads have completely parted company with their bodies. I'm sorry to hear that. Not to worry, young Potter. As I said, it's a matter of no importance. Door's locked. Hello, Harry. Let's go outside to the flying pitch. We don't want Madame Hoots to be angry with us on our first day. Flying lessons with Hoots next, Harry. I'll meet you outside the flying pitch. Looking forward to this class, aren't you? Let's go in. Welcome to second year flying. Although you all apparently learned to fly last year, the apparently is directed at you, Mr. Longbottom. A refresher course is in order. Mr. Potter, would you please come over here so we can run through the basics? Please, would you fly up slowly? Good start. Now return to hover above the ground again. Dear me, Mr. Potter, you really are out of practice, aren't you? Try again. Please, will you fly up slowly? A good start. Now return to hover above the ground again. Good. At least you have broom control, however basic. Let's try something a little more difficult. I assume you can see the magical rings. Kindly fly through them all for me.
done, Potter. I think you're ready to take this year's flying exam. You have approximately two and a half minutes to fly through as many rings as you can. Your course through the rings will get progressively more difficult, and only the most expert flyers ever manage to complete it. receive an A+. Plus. That was exhausting, Harry. I'm off to bed. See you later. Brilliant. 